really don't think it will have any impact on my work. No, of course, I'll, I'll make sure to check in regularly. Okay, thank you. Talk tomorrow. Oh, okay, all sorted. At least for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be working remotely. Yeah, it means I can spend way more time here, not having to go into the office three hours away. What's your choice? Of course. It's um your apartment. I could always get a hotel room somewhere. <laughs> for now, make some room for me on that sofa, though. I want to get comfy. Hmm. These last two weeks have just been... I can't even describe it. You know how great our relationship was the first time around? Well, being apart for two years, it's only made that stronger. Whatever kind of desire, lust, longing I felt before, it's five times stronger, ten times stronger, a hundred times. I can barely contain it. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really contained it. He drives me crazy. We should, uh... <laughs> we should figure out what we're going to eat tonight, I guess. I assume you're okay with me staying over again. <laughs> oh, I have to cook. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> no, you've just sort of been cooking by default. Maybe I should have offered. I'd love to, though. I'm uh, not a brilliant cook, but I can make some comfy, homely sorts of things. This is my favourite time of year for cooking, too, when you can break up all the rich, warming comfort foods. Mm, no, I didn't cook all that much while we were apart. I kind of fell into that pattern of cooking the same few things over and over again, never trying anything different. Uh, well, the downside is there isn't much I know how to cook. But on the plus side, I am pretty bloody good at the few things that I do know how to cook. Hmm. How about... Um... Ooh, peanut stew. Yeah, peanuts, I know. Doesn't sound like a conventional stew ingredient. It's good, though. I think it's from somewhere in Western Africa. After we broke up uh, for a little bit, I... <laughs> I decided to try going vegan. <laughs> Not sure why. I was um, just uh, trying some different things to take my mind off it, I guess. Yeah, it didn't last very long. But uh, this is one of the few recipes I picked up while I was putting some effort into eating new things. I bought a few vegan recipe books on the cheap, secondhand, and uh, this was in there. It quickly entered my standard rotation. It's really good and pretty foolproof. Really hard to mess up. It's all in like one pot too. It's kind of similar to the spicy peanut sauce you get with satay. It's made with peanuts, peanut butter, a bunch of spices, peppers, tinned tomatoes for the base, turmeric and cumin. Uh, I kind of just chuck whatever hot warming spices I have to hand in there. It's probably really inauthentic. <laughs> then... Sweet potato, spinach, or some other kind of leafy green thing. And uh, I usually have it with a big chunk of really nice crusty bread. Something fresh and uh, handmade looking. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I've made this decision without you. Sorry. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you like the sound of it. On a day like today, it's just what I want. It's cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, cuddle up. I'm glad you've got this blanket here, at least. <sighs> That's more like it. So warm under here with you. Oh, you like being kissed on the forehead? <laughs> doesn't it... Doesn't it feel like this is just how it's supposed to be? You and me snuggled up under a blanket together. I could stay like this forever. Okay, not actually forever. I guess eventually it might get boring. It's just hard to imagine that actually happening, isn't it? Well, all I know is right now, 
this is what feels right. Hmm. Get closer. Closer. Ah, no. Impossible. You know when you get that feeling like you want to get so close to someone you're inside them? <laughs> no. Not like that. God, you have a filthy mind. Okay. Maybe a little like that. But I mean, I want to cuddle so close with you that our skin fuses together or something. It's very romantic when you think about it that way. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just a romantic kind of guy. Hey, don't tell me you don't think about it too. I think it's a perfectly natural thing to want to do when you're as into someone as I'm into you. And hopefully as you are into me. Hmm... No, I don't think I was fishing for compliments or reassurance or anything. It's more like I want to communicate really clearly this time around. I don't want to leave anything unsaid or ambiguous. It wasn't exactly a problem before, no. It's just... I keep thinking about how sooner we might have got back together, if that's what we are now. If one of us had just said something sooner. Of course, yeah, I thought about trying to get back in touch with you, coming to visit you here. I thought that so many times. I thought about it the day after you left, even. And almost every day since then. I guess I just needed a push. Some excuse for it, like being sent here for work. I don't know why I needed that, and I wish I hadn't done, but apparently I did. It just feels like we wasted so much time when we could have been doing this. For two years. Hey, um, is there something up? No, you just seemed, um, you just seemed a little preoccupied then. Like, you know, something on your mind. <laughs> I'm sure it's not stupid. Whatever it is, if it's bothering you, I want to hear about it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I hate the idea of leaving too. I don't want to think about it too much while we've got these two weeks together again. I, I want to make the most of them, but I don't know if I'll be able to stop thinking about it. It's going to be looming over me the whole time, this dark shadow of the future. I just know it. You know, I just... Uh, I just want to stay. <laughs> I want to say fuck it and quit, or figure out if there's some way I could work remote full-time so I could stay here with you forever. You want that too? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't even know why I'm asking. You basically just told me. It's just... It's such a big deal. I didn't feel like I could make any assumptions. So... You do want to live together again. You want me to move in here? Oh God, I... I don't think there's anything I want more than that. Do you think we could? I mean, do you think it'd work? I, I'm just thinking, you know, like, emotionally... Do you think there's anything we should try to... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. It just seems to me like... If you're apart for two years... Maybe you can't just immediately jump back into it from where you left off. I, 
I don't know. I don't know. I just really want it to go well this time, so I guess my brain's like trying to figure out anything that could possibly go wrong beforehand so we can avoid it ever happening. I just, I... I don't think I could deal with losing you a second time if things did somehow not work out. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I know you're right. Of course you are. If we both want this to happen, all we can do is try our best. And if anything goes wrong, we'll work through it together. Stronger and wiser and older than we were before. I really do feel older. <laughs> oh, this is ah, so exciting. <laughs> I guess I should stop thinking of myself as your ex now, huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> We're a thing again. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> what do you think I should say to my boss? Do you think there's any chance they'd let me go remote full time or? Yeah. God. I don't know. There's no reason why they shouldn't. My job can be done entirely from home, but it wouldn't surprise me if they insisted I had to come back. Ah, fuck it. If they try to stop me, I'll quit. I... I love you so much. I'll find another job here. Shouldn't be that hard. And even if it is, you're worth it. Yeah, I mean it. I just feel so stupid for letting you go last time. Why'd I put my job ahead of you? I don't even like my job. I just felt like that was what you were supposed to do, you know? Seems as though everybody is encouraged to put their career first ahead of everything else. Look after yourself, don't let people hold you back, all that. It's rubbish. I was held back from you by work, not the other way around. I'm not going to let it happen again. I love you too much for that. You know. One thing's for sure. I'm moving in. We're gonna... We're gonna need a bigger bed. 